Welcome to the Albert and Billy Show. Hello, Papa. One more time. Yeah. One more time. Yeah, how you doing? Does this make 100? We've been past oh, that for a while yeah, now. Yeah, we're past 100. 116. 116. 116. You know, that, that makes me feel old. <laughs> Well, it don't seem like it's been that long, though. It's kind of flew by. Well, you know, uh, I'd like to. I would like to think that I can remember one tenth of all the things we've talked about on here. I know. Now I, I can't even remember one tenth of what we talked about. It is. People will come up and tell me, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> But uh, thanks for watching us on Valley 8, or Valley, Valley, listen at me, Channel 18 Valley TV and YouTube. Don't forget you can watch all episodes of the Albert Billy Show on YouTube and listen to us on WUAT AM 1110. We're gearing up to go on a little Albert and Billy Show road trip road this trip. summer. Yeah. You know, Bob Holt and Bing Crosby did that for a while, and they made movies out of theirs. Can we make did a they? movie out of I'm sure. I'm sure we could. Wow. I'm sure we could. Theirs were, their, their movies were called Road to Rio, Road to Here, oh, Road okay. to There. That okay. was back in the 40s and 50s. <laughs> That's why I don't know what I you're talking remember, about. I gotta remember that. <laughs> well, now you do remember Ben Crosby singing White Christmas. Well, I've You've heard had to him hear sing it. it. Yeah, I've heard it. it. And I remember uh, Bob Hope's song. Well, the, he, he did a comedian. lot of the entertaining of the troops in the, yes. world, in the wars, World War II. And he was like a hundred. Bob Holt something. lived to be a, a an at old least a hundred. Yeah. Well, we got a few announcements before we get into trivia. Uh, this is being filmed on Mother's Day weekend, so Papa's got some. Probably no telling. I'm sure there's some Mother's Day things. Every in joke I've got is Mother's Day oh, jokes. Okay. Well, they should be pretty good then. Uh, go check out the Butzel County High School drama, their musical Footloose. Have you heard hey, any reviews you, on I, it? I've heard some rave reviews. Good, good. They and always I, do a good job. And I saw one of the posters. A couple of the boys were doing their little skit, mm -hmm. and they look good. Well, oh, good. I see, they always do a good job every year. Miss Donna Taylor, you know, directs it, and uh, they always do a good job. They've been on this show before, uh, not this year's Drama Club, but we've had them on here in the past. Well, are you familiar with that uh, program they're going to put on Footloose? Yeah, I mean, it's a movie from the 80s. And that's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. It's not something that they just dreamed up. It's no, no, been no, no. So it should uh, be familiar with some of the people. It should, yeah, it should be familiar to, well, really anybody. And it, I guess that's the movie that made Kevin Bacon famous. Okay. That was his first big time role. Uh, but uh, so Footloose, come check it out. You know there'll be a lot of dancing because there's a lot of dancing yeah, in yeah. the movie. So they're going to have to do a lot of dancing, I'm sure, in this musical. And uh, let's see. The next appearance, radio listeners, is tomorrow night, 7 p.m. And then on Sunday, on Mother's Day, it's at 2 p.m. This will be at the Bledsoe County High School Auditorium. Tickets are $5, and they're sold at the door. I wonder how long it lasts. It does, does it say? don't have any idea. I'm sure a couple hours, surely. <laughs> I would say an hour and a half at least. Five yeah, hour. pretty cheap entertainment. Yeah, yeah. And there's probably, cons well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. There may not be concessions. I don't know. But there might be. But it's at the high school. Yes, it's at the Wetzel County High School Auditorium. And I'd say it'll be uh, a packed house. I would say so. It'd be worth your time. And your I think so, too. I think so, too. I think when they were on our show, it was about high school musical. They uh, did High School Musical <laughs> as Ali starts dancing. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the that's what they were uh, promoting that year. So uh, there's that to do this weekend. Uh, there's a Rook Tournament tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. That's the next Rook Tournament at the Nickel Row Music Hall, folks. Come by 2 p.m. and play some Rook. And uh, concessions are available. Prizes awarded to the top three teams. And you can start your weekend off tomorrow morning with a big country breakfast at the Veterans Hall. 
It's going to be from 7.30 to 10 a.m. Come out and enjoy biscuits and gravy, country ham, sausage, bacon, scrambled eggs, hash browns, tomatoes, and a drink. You can get a cup of coffee, glass of milk, or glass of orange juice for a donation going towards the maintenance and upkeep of the facility. And the breakfast is sponsored this month by Putnam Reed Funeral Home. Let me tell you something. Uh, you get plenty to eat there, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't buy a country ham at home to, to cook. Mm -hmm. So when I go to a, one of those breakfasts like that, mm -hmm. I like the country ham. And it's cooked to perfection. Is it now? I mean, it's not too hard. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's done enough that you enjoy every morsel. Oh, I like that description. <laughs> Every morsel. Very detailed description of country ham. And so, yes, they have country ham. And plenty of it. Right. And also, this weekend, Radio Listeners kicks off the Nine Mile Bluegrass Festival. First one of 2019. It'll be at the Nine Mile Volunteer Fire Department. They call it the Volunteer Fire Company now, I guess, or or something. Maybe they're incorporated. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm too used to calling it the Fire Department, so yeah. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to fire catch fire. on to that trend. But uh, it's going to be there, <laughs> and uh, it starts tonight, actually, folks, at 7 p.m. And then tomorrow, showtime is at 11 a.m. Tickets are five dollars. Children 10 and under get in free uh, with paid adults. Music under shelter, rain or shine. Crafts are welcome, no vendor fees, and there is a $50 door prize. Cannon, yeah, Cannon Creek, Dixie Lee Junction, the Edmonds family, Lonnie Jones, Mountain Road, Clearview, the Grandview Pickers, and many more will be performing this weekend at Nine Mile at the first Bluegrass Festival of the year. Kicks off tonight, 7 p.m., Papa. They've got plenty of entertainment. Yes, they do. Oh, and here's something. Oh, I guess this is uh, in conjunction with the 100th annual fair coming up later this year because it's a spring fling dance at the Budsell County Fairgrounds. And it's tomorrow night, and it starts at 6 p.m. It says, put on your dancing shoes and grab a partner. Come have fun at the Spring Fling Dance at the Butzel County Fairgrounds in Potville tomorrow. The music and dancing will begin at 6 o'clock p.m. So it doesn't say who's furnishing say, the music? It doesn't say much of anything on that, no. I literally read the announcement word for word. If I knew, I'd tell you, though, folks. All this dancing going on. I don't yeah. know if we can... We need to start dancing. I don't believe we can contain Annie much longer, do you? I know. She's done started dancing already when I said high school musical. <laughs> uh, Papa, I guess they've been doing this for about four or five years now. It's the next Farm City Breakfast. It's going to be on Friday, May 17th. And let's see. A week see. from tonight. It's going to be 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. with the guest speaker, Charlie Hatcher, who is the Commissioner of Agriculture for the state of Tennessee. It's gonna be held at the Bledsoe County Rescue Squad building for reservations. Please call Agnes, Sim Agnes Simpson. I just saw her a few minutes ago. She's the office assistant for the Chamber of Commerce. The number to call is 447-2791. 447-2791. Farm City Breakfast a week from today, 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. at the Bledsoe County Rescue Squad. Let me tell you, uh, you drive by that girl's house, uh -huh. Little Crow and his wife. Mm -hmm. Their flowers are beautiful. Well, they're fans of the show, so she might have just heard you say that. They, she, they've got if red... Not, she'll watch you They've say got it. red hot pokers growing. Okay. Well, I just talked to her just uh, a few minutes ago before we I saw her at the funeral filming. today. I saw them at breakfast this morning. Yeah, I saw them at lunch. She had the sweetest mother. She had the sweetest mother and daddy. Really? Oh yes. What were their names? I'm gonna put you on the spot like you did uh, me all the time. Her daddy's name was Howard. Carrie, maybe. Okay. Carrie. He's always putting me on the spot, folks. So well, a little I, payback there. 
I remember, I remember my children's names and when they were born. I remember my wife's name. That's about all I well, you better remember your favorite grandson's name. Oh, yes. yeah. Firstborn. You know, that's right. It's the Albert and Billy show. His I think name you got is that. Johnny William Paul Thanks a lot, Bridges. Papa. Thanks a lot, Papa. How in the world did you learn to spell? Have you learned to spell all that? No, no. <laughs> Vicky, I don't know what Mom and Vicky Dad were should thinking. not have put all that on you. No. <laughs> I was mad about that for many years. <laughs> all right, I've got some announcements to make. You do. On Sunday, that'll be a week from this Sunday now, not this coming Sunday. On the 19th of May, the Pikeville Fire Department is having a fundraiser. Yeah. Guess where it's going to be held? Gee, I wonder, the fire department maybe? It will be on 87 <laughs> Municipal Drive. That's a mystery. I went down there and I had a meeting with one of their employees this week. I said, the street you're on is Municipal Drive. Walk 50 steps north of here, it is College Street. That's so weird. Well, it? they wanted me to change, but I ain't changing yet. There you go. Winky Kegel may come and have me arrested, but Paula let me out the For back door. Changing. I'm pretty sure they're going to let it slide for <laughs> refusing to call it that. <laughs> but they're going to have chicken casserole, and it's going to be $8 a plate. Now, included with the chicken casserole, you get two sides. Now, it doesn't tell what the sides are. are. It could be slaw and pinto beans. I don't know. But you get bread with that, and you get dessert with that, and you get a drink. Yeah. All for $8, and it's going to be right down there at the fire department and the... Well, every everybody, penny, everybody. every penny that they get, because this is a volunteer fire department. Mm -hmm. Every penny will be out, used Papa. for the fire department. What now? You can eat in or take out, it says. Oh, yeah, you can take it out. Okay. Uh, you don't. They don't charge you anymore. If um, you want to call, the, the number to call is 447-6222. And... Uh, they're right down there next to that new city hall. Yeah, new city hall. I had a it's good nice. I had a good meeting with them down there the other day. I found out what's going on. What? I did, buddy. I said well, I'm a taxpayer. I want to know what's going on in this town. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> they they let they let me have my say. Well, good for you, Papa. <laughs> Bob, I'm just kidding now. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I did have some questions and I wanted answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Mount oh, Crest there for. Fire Hall out on the mountain. That's on Highway 30 where it has a break right there with 101. The Mount Crest Fire Hall is having a country breakfast, and that's going to be a week from tomorrow. The Saturday, yeah. the 18th. Yeah, 6 to 10. And you get to eat four hours, mm -hmm. and it'll cost you $5. That's a quarter an hour. That's right. Can't beat that. Their menu is bacon and sausage, eggs and hash browns. Not in that order. You can get whatever you want. Biscuits and gravy and jelly and butter and coffee and milk. That fire department out on that mountain does a good job, and they want you to help them out. Yes. Call 911 for emergencies, and there I'm sure they'll take care of you. I'm sure they will, too. Mount Crest. Mount Crest, fire department. That's not this Sunday And they now. always... The 18th. They always forget to put orange juice, but they have told me several oh, times have, that they, they do have. have orange juice. They just always you, forget to put it on the, there. The thing, the reason that these breakfasts include orange juice, a lot of old people like me have to take their medicine when they get there, and you got to have juice to take you it. you got to have that vitamin C <laughs> to take it with. <laughs> it helps. It helps. Well, it's time for some trivia, Papa. Trivia. I wonder what's going to replace trivia someday. Someday I'll run out of questions. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. I, mean, I think I'll leave it up to you. I'll let you come up with something. Oh, wow. Because we've been doing trivia ever since we started this. Yeah, yeah. And I think I do good considering they're ridiculously hard most of the time. Oh, listen now. <laughs> Strong blank blank. What? Ox. Two letters, two words. Strong blank blank ox. 
strong as an ox. How strong as an ox? Strong as an ox. Or stout as an ox, yeah. Strong as an ox. And you know, that'd be, that'd that'd be strong. Strong as an ox. Okay. Strong as an ox. You sure? Okay. Caboose's place. The last. Last or? What? First. No, last end. or rear. The rear end. <laughs> the caboose is on the rear end of oh, the train. Got it. Wonder why they call it the caboose. I don't know. You know I what? A, know. You know what another caboose? The word caboose is. Yeah, but I'm not gonna say it on TV and radio. It's an Indian baby. <laughs> Three letters, Papa. I guess. <laughs> No, that's a papoose. I was just kidding. That's a papoose. Okay. A salty drop Man. that goes down your face. Tear. tear. A tear. A tear. Mary I need that fan on me, don't get me wrong, but I think it's stirring up. I've been having severe allergies lately, and if my eyes start watering and tears start coming down my face, y'all know why. Something I've, I've said, had a horrible time. Something with these. I'm saying made you sad. No, no, it's allergies. I can't get rid of them, Papa. The merry, merry month of yeah. Christmas, ah. December, <laughs> May. 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 I said May. I heard you, but I Christmas. Merry El Christmas. Elbow opposite. <laughs> what other part of your body do you identify with after the elbow? Arms, forearm. Knee. Opposite. Knee. Knee. Don't ask me why, but you said knee. Yeah, that's an odd question. A lawn invader. You want grass to grow to mow, but oh, what's the invader? Lawn. What's the invader? Weed eater. W Weeds. Weed. Weed. Well, you're all over the place today. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If it hadn't been for Eve, we wouldn't have weed. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you right. Mean? That's, that's the part of the curse was not Adam being cursed. It was not Eve being cursed. It was the dirt, the soil got cursed. He said, from now on, you'll have to earn your, get your bread by the sweat of your brow. And there's going to be weeds and thistles that you'll have to deal with. And, and they were not invented. Fault. They were not invented until like after they were put out of the garden. Oh, after they were put out of the garden. Out of the garden. See, in the garden, they know all that do just pick the fruit. Hmm. Pick the fruit. No weed. No weeds. Good times. Uh, yeah. A filbert is a <sighs> not nut. Well, I tell you, I'm so proud of you. I bet you there's not a lot of people would have known that. I've actually heard you say it. Oh. That's how I know. You know what? If you <laughs> listen, if you eat an if you eat an ounce of nuts a day, and I've been doing this, it will what? extend your life. Oh, okay. That's the reason I'm 84. I've been eating an ounce of nuts a day, and sometimes I eat two ounces. <laughs> I think, well, why not? Why not go for a little bit more? Of course, go for a hundred. Why not? But uh, some of the nuts that are good to eat that are not salted are pecans and English walnuts and almonds. Oh, they're not salted. Yes, I think we talked about this. Yeah. Maybe about. Well, I like cashews. Well, yeah. And they're salty. But you, I guess you can get them unsalted. I don't know. Wouldn't be no good. Yeah. Uh, Nothing good is good for you, seems like. Nothing that tastes good. Okay. <laughs> A three letter word, and the next two words are the ramparts. Blank the ramparts from the song. Francis Scott Key wrote. Uh -oh. And the ramparts, Ram we rave, ramblack. Blank the ramparts. And the, and the help. And the ramparts, and the so and. and the <laughs> what is? I don't know. And are we singing the right song? Well. And the ramparts rain glare. I thought that's the way it goes. Well. There, your li there is a three-letter word. It has a contraction in it. It really is a four-letter word, but there oh the Francis Scott Key okay. made a contraction, and it's three letters. Blank the ramparts we watched. 
as the ramparts we watch or oh. or is that it or the ramparts we, we watch. over the ramparts we watch that. yes I still don't know the answer. Oh, or or right over. Right song, just later in the song. Oh, okay. Or the okay. ramparts we watch. We got, yeah. We're so gallantly streaming. Go. All right. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> the tool for whacking an unwanted re weed. Weed eater. Weed eater. Is a weed eater. Well, I knew that would come in handy I bought, sometime. I bought a used one over in Dayton for $20. It was a weed eater brand. Oh. Weed eater that you could pick up with one finger. And see, my weed eater went kerbunk kr kr on oh, me. Oh, uh, I've And I bought an this. electric one. I've heard about and this. And let me tell you something. You like it. I'm going to go all over town cutting weeds for people. They'll like that, Papa. I'm not kidding. I'm in love with it. I've heard all about it. Mama's told me all about it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. All about Does it. she know that I did that whole uh, empty lot over there behind me? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know if she knows that part now. No, don't tell her. Okay. I reckon your, she's listening? Your secret is so safe. Okay. <laughs> the villain's fold in a book or the in hero. a movie. The hero. The villain's foe is the hero. We always get it the other way. Right. But I'm different. No, I know. The sports <laughs> zebra. The ref. The ref. The referee. You're on a roll today. Well, I can do sports all day long. Mr. Arnaz. Oh, De like, Desi. Look, Desi. Desi. Desi, yeah. That's a Lucy, long time ago. I that was before. Lucy. That was before your time. That yeah, was before 1980. You can blame Aunt Paula for that. I used to have to watch all of Lucy. I'll lot. bet you the reruns are still on. They are. They are. Okay, if you find the sum of a group of numbers, what have you done? You found the sum. I have. Add. The sum well, is in so addition. Bad. Yeah. The sum is in addition. That's 15 questions. Well, let me tell you, they the easy all one. over the place. I'll have to do better next week. No, no, they were hard enough. I have no idea what next week's is. Oh, about. God, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Look, I've got them uh, that, that far ahead. Wow, Allie, he's on it. Well, see, if something happens to me, somebody can... Oh, don't be talking like that. Somebody can take over. Well, somebody, somebody filled him for you the other day. That's what I'm saying. Somebody can take over. Yes. Well, you're so busy, you know, we had to get a fill-in host for you. You tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo. But school will be out soon, so that excuse what am will be I out the do? door. What am I going to do this summer? You'll be uh, out. You'll be on the Albert Billy Show road trips, what you'll be doing. Yeah, but I don't make any money here. Well. I'm making tough. money. I'm making money. Thank well, you, Mrs. Terry, for my job all year. Well, she can't help it that that's uh, close for the summer. You'll be all right. Quick complaint. I will. Yeah. Financially, I'll be all right. Yeah. I can pay my bills. Yeah. With your permission. Yes. I grant you permission. Please pay your bill. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After the break, and I'm going to take this break to try to breathe again. <laughs> that fan is doing something to me. Uh, we'll have some sports of all sorts coming up. Sports of all sorts. I'm not kidding. <laughs> to the Albert and Billy show here on Channel 18 Valley TV, NWAT AM 1110, and YouTube. I want to thank our sponsor, Scotty's, right here in downtown Pikeville. Citizens Tri-County Bank, also in downtown Pikeville. Bilbury Insurance on Spring Street. Go see Frank, Susan, and Sadie for all your insurance needs. The Loom, our next door neighbor, right here on Cumberland Avenue. Go see Miss Judy Yates this month for uh, flowers. Boy, she's got them. I'm sure, yeah. She's got them. For decorations and all that. For the decoration that'll be coming Cemeteries. Up. All the cemeteries, yeah. Farmhouse Cafe, right behind us here at WUAT, owner Kim Campbell. Good food there. I ate there today. It was good. Subway on the bypass. Uh, I would, like I always say every time, get their chicken rotisserie with a little mayonnaise and ranch dressing. It's good stuff. 
<laughs> Sounds good. In the offices of Emma Boynton, Michael Walker, and Lisa Wheeler. Also, thanks to Farm Bureau. Uh, Matt Massingale, go see him and his friendly staff in South Pottville, down by the high school, for all your insurance needs at Farm Bureau, and also Pottville Family Dentistry across the street from us here, Caddy Cornered, as Papa says. Caddy Cornered. I like that. Let's hear some sports, Papa. Horse racing. Last yeah. Saturday, we had the Kentucky Derby. Yes. And 150,729 people witnessed the 145th running of the Roses. That's what it's called. The ending was the big story. You are familiar with the ending. Yeah. Well, the winner... And something like that happened a few years ago, too. There was a movie about it. Well, Maxim Security was the favored horse mm -hmm. out of the... Well, there, I think there had been 20 and one had been scratched, so there were 19. Okay. But Maxim Security won. But one of the jockeys on one of the other horses, his name was Flavius Pratt. He Flavius said, Pratt. Flavius Pratt, P R A T. Who names these people? Just one, one T, P R A T. But he he lodged a complaint with the stewards of the race, and he said that horse interfered with me and my horse. So during the twenty or twenty-one minute wait to determine Man, if to there was any it. truth because Country House was the horse that wound up second. And they wound up and winning. because that uh, complaint was lodged and reviewed, the stewards agreed with that jockey that interference had occurred. Yeah, and yeah, he was security right. was disqualified. Yeah, he was right, though. So a horse with a 65 to 1 odds won the race. Won the race. And Maxim Security had over $6 million more bet on him to win. But that's a lot of mad millionaires. Than on country <laughs> There's a lot of mad people in them stands, too. I bet you some of them were throwing the roses. I bet they were, too. I bet they were, too. Old Flavius Pratt got a lot of well, drama, didn't he? But he won himself a bunch of money. You know, I don't gamble, but if I had bet $100 on a 65-to-1 horse, I'd have got $6,500. Wow, yeah. And some people bet on him, sure. Well, well, he said six million dollars more was yeah. bet on maximum security than on country house. So some people. So some people bet it. Well, yeah. what they do, they probably bet money here, bet money there. That's true. And the odds at sixty-five to one. Hey, why not try it? Sixty-five yeah, to one. That's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. But anyway, that's the way it happened in horse that's racing a, last year. That's, that's wild. That's the wild. NBA playoffs. That's the second thing I want to talk about because we're not going anywhere. Evidently, everybody is knocking each other off. Except for my team. Oh, well, yeah. They're, what was your team's name? They won the one Celtics. game. The Boston Celtics ran into the Milwaukee Bucks, didn't they? Yeah, and they played horrible. Well, horrible. One out of five. That's horrible. <laughs> yes, they didn't even win in Boston. That's the bad part. They won the first game and lost four in a row. Four in a row. Well, anyway, the, Philly, the Phillies in Toronto, they're all tied up at three, three apiece. Yeah, the, the rest of them are and really good Denver series. Denver has done the same thing with uh, Portland. Portland Trailblazers. They're three and three. And then you've Portland got tied it up last night, I believe. Then you've got Golden State and Houston Rockets. Three to two. One of those two, I don't know which one's going to win, and it's it's a flip, coin flip between the two. Yeah. But whichever one of those wins that series, and right now Golden State's had three games to two. Mm -hmm. I believe they'll win. I do too. I believe that whoever wins that, that will probably go on to win the championship. That's two of the, to me, that's two of the best teams. It's a shame they're playing each other right yeah. now. They should be playing in the finals. Or at least the Western Conference finals, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to do. Baseball. But now, Milwaukee, those good now, Papa. Yeah, they're good. They they to beat Boston for a row? They might. That, that guy from good. Greece. 
What's his name? It's a crazy last name. His whole his name takes up his whole jersey. <laughs> <laughs> He's really good. Really good. You know, some of these other players that come from these other countries, they're used to making money over there. Yeah. So yeah. I guess they like to come over here and make better money. Yeah, and it's starting to see that more and more. Oh, yeah. I saw the Lady Vols have a recruit coming in next year from Australia. Australia? She's international, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. I, I believe we'll see more of that. I think so, too. I do, too. Okay, in baseball, the Braves are in second place. Where's your Dodgers? My Dodgers are in first place. Well, I can't believe you didn't lead out with that. Well, I wanted to give you the favor. <laughs> They're in second place, care. two and a half games out, and I've, I've got a three-game lead over the Arizona Diamondbacks. Okay. The Oakland A's had a pitcher this week to throw his second no-hitter in his career. That's mm. only been done 35 other times in the history and, and, of baseball okay. that you've got more than one no-hitter. So well, that's good. So for one player to do it twice is pretty amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. And in golf. God, you are wheels. flying through. Okay. Well, I've, I've got 15 minutes. Well, you've done it in about five. <laughs> <laughs> That'll give me more time for Albert Long. Okay, okay. In golf, the Wells Fargo Championship was played last weekend out in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. A player I've never heard of. His name was Max Homa, H-O-M-A. Made me think of Chief Nakahoma. <laughs> he beat out the second ranked player in the world, Justin Rose. He also beat out Rory McIlroy. These are well-known names. Yeah. Sergio Garcia from yeah. Spain. Jason Duffner. Mm -hmm. uh, Ricky Fowler. All these are ranked in the world. Mm -hmm. This guy. He's playing on his shoestring. Yeah. But he won four million, one million four hundred twenty-two thousand dollars on that one game. Oh, uh, I have a feeling they'll hear from him more often now. Well, he was about ready to hang it up. Was he? And, but he thought, well, I'm gonna try. He won one little old championship somewhere that enabled him to enroll in this one to try one more time. Yeah. And he did, and he won. Boy, I bet he's glad he. Uh, Gave it another shot. I bet if he's got a wife and family, they're tickled to death. Yeah, yeah. Tennis. You, now, you should know this one. Okay. Roger Federer. Probably won, the greatest ever. He won number 1,200 games. His, game. his match. His match. Yes. 1,200. Yes. Only one other man in history of tennis has done that. Jimmy, Jimmy Connors. Connors. Just think, the next one Roger Federer wins, mm -hmm. he's alone. I know, they're tied up, aren't they? They're tied. And Jimmy Connors is not playing anymore. No, 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 so no. So Roger Federer is going to break that. He's going to break it. He's going to stand alone as the one man in the world of tennis that has won more matches than anybody else in the history of tennis. And he may not ever get caught. The only two that stand a chance is Djokovic and Nadal. But I don't know how far behind they are. Well, I don't think they're that close, and I don't know how, how much longer they can keep at the peak of their game. Exactly, exactly. you got to be at your peak. Yeah. It's not like golf. I know golf you can play to your Some dang of these 70 years old. Some of these can last four hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> now, football. Let me talk about football just for a minute. Okay, talk it. The talk University it. of Tennessee and their football coach, Jeremy Pruitt. Yeah. There has been some new additions to our scheduling taking effect in 2020. Okay. We're going to have Troy added on the schedule. We played them once before. Should be a easy win. It should, should be. Should be. Charlotte. Another easy win. Should be. Furman. Should be another easy win. They, these are in the classification of UTC. Yeah. What do you call that? Mid majors. Mid majors. Mid -majors. Also, yeah. the in the SEC wars that we have to play, we've got Alabama, of course, and we've got Florida, and we've got Georgia, and we've got South Carolina, and we've got Vanderbilt, and we've got Kentucky, but we'll be playing Arkansas. Hmm. 
We've not played Arkansas one. In, a, in a while. In a good, good long while. They've actually been struggling too, though. They've not well, had the best of years either the past few seasons. I remember the last time we played Arkansas, they had a quarterback named Clint Sterner. That was in 98. We had them beat. They had us beat. That we've not played them since then? I don't believe so. Goodness. And, and, and we beat them because yeah. Clint Sterner made a boo-boo. A big boo-boo, and we went on to win the national championship. We won the national championship. I didn't realize that we haven't played them since then, though. That's amazing. But we'll play Alabama, Florida, Dang. Kentucky, Vanderbilt, Missouri. Missouri. We played Missouri. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And South Carolina and Georgia and then Arkansas. And then those three gimmies, Troy and Charlotte and Furman. We had a pastor, an mm -hmm. interim pastor, and that's where he went to school was Furman. It's in he South was, Carolina. Yeah, he was strong for Furman. Was he? Oh, he was. He advocated Furman. And I guess you've got people that go to UTC, and, and they think UTC's grand school. Of course. Well, I'll tell you what. One year UTC beat Tennessee, and it was big news all over the world. They yeah, beat us 14 to 6, wasn't it? We've talked about yeah. that before. What year 14 was it? 14 to 6. I, I think it's back when I was a baby. <laughs> It's a soil well, UTC should have scheduled them, you know, in the Butch Jones era. They ah. might have, they might have got another win over UT. <laughs> well, that's it for sports. Good chance of it, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, that's it for sports. Okay, well, that's it for sports. We flew through that, so uh, let's yeah, have some yeah. Albertology. I'm glad you allowed me. <laughs> I've got some did you knows. Okay. And but, I never know it. But first, I want to talk about Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. <laughs> As Ali applauds. I have. And I, I have yawn. A, <laughs> I have a list of uh, coined phrases that we trace back to William Shakespeare. To give you a time frame, William Shakespeare was born in the 1500s, 1564. He lived until the next century. He died in 1616. But can you imagine 500 years later? No. That we are using phrases, common everyday phrases, that he invented, that he penned for the first time. I know. And I've just got a handful I want to throw at you. These, this is just a sample. Okay. That's All right. It. Heart of gold. Yeah. You heard that? Absolutely. Oh, they've got a heart of gold. Well, he's the first one to come oh, up with I that thought. I get told that all the time, Papa. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> Good riddance. I've heard that too. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you read, if you read much, other authors have had to pick up on some of this. They've had to use it. Apparently, they have. But he's the one that coined it. Yeah. Come what may. Heard that one too. Heard that. The game is up. We've the been game caught. is up. We, we've know. been caught. The game I've is up. I've heard the gig is up. Well, I've heard that too. Out <laughs> of the out of the jaws of death. Right. Break the ice. Heard that one. That's what a boy wants to do. He wants to well, make the girl. contact with a girl. He wants to break the ice. Wild goose chase. I heard that one. Yeah. Well, you're on a wild goose chase. Yeah. But think that you're all over the place. Think that some man and their mind and their pen and their paper came up with that the first time 500 years ago, and it's still in usage. That's what blows my mind. Yeah, it is. Still in usage. That is kind of crazy. 503 years later. Right. That's what I'm, yeah, 503 years later. Still using a whole bunch of his. Well, I've got a, I've got a whole page. I've got a whole page. I got them off that. of a door down at school, off of an English class. I wrote it. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I get a lot of my information at school. <laughs> I told Martin Crawford the other day, I was a librarian one day. Mm -hmm. And there's all these books in there that... I pick up one, I pick up another, I pick up another. And I've, I've got so many things that I'd like to write down. Yeah. But I, I, I don't have time because I got to watch. I got a room full of kids to watch. Yeah. They get in my way. Them darn kids get in the way. They get in my I tell way. you. Okay. Did you know? <laughs> did you know? Lightning. Lightning. And a ball. My odds. That's of, a saying, isn't it? My odds of being zapped is one in five thousand. 
Your odds of getting zapped are like 1 in 5,000. I know a couple people personally that have been zapped. 2,000 so are hit happen. <laughs> Yeah, it happens. 2,000 are hit worldwide and 9 out of 10 survive. They get hit by Yeah, life. most people survive it, but some don't. But well, 9 out of usually 10 Usually they do. Now, they can't feel good, that's for sure. Have you ever heard that lightning doesn't strike twice? I've heard that, but it's I've not heard necessarily that. It's not true. true. It's not true. Uh, bolts strike skyscrapers and tall buildings twice or more. In fact, the Empire State Building has been struck 100 times. Oh, wow. Per year. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lightning strikes the Empire State Building 100 times a year. That is, uh, I did not know that. That's a did you know, I didn't I, know. I thought, well, maybe maybe lightning could hit twice somewhere, you know, but keep on keeping. A hundred times a year, though, is a little okay. much, but. Now, what causes thunder? I did this research. I'm, I'm in school now. I don't, I mean, I don't know. A bolt of lightning can be five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Now we've got to realize how hot this, I mean, I, I can't visualize how no. hot. You're talking about. There's no way to. Hydrogen bombs going off inside that sun. Yeah. Anyway, this super heat wrecks havoc with the surrounding air whenever that bolt of lightning hits and it creates a shock wave and that shock wave produces the sound of thunder. It's the shock wave from the lightning bolt that's so hot mm -hmm. that's what it produces is thunder. Oh, I didn't know that one either. I didn't, but that was news to me. I always thought it was the angels bowling. I heard <laughs> that. <laughs> I never heard that now. Uh, Okay, did you and know? what is it? If, uh, if it rains on a sunny day, the devil's beating his wife. No, I've, I've always heard that, that one. Well, my mother and daddy told me that when you heard thunder, that that was the No, I was just on the devil's uh, yeah. wagon doing something. I so really? Have you ever heard the phrase, that, well, they're blind as a bat? Oh, yeah. Bats aren't blind. No, they I guess use, not. <laughs> they use a sonar system to echo, to to make an echo come back, and it helps them in, in maneuvering, but they can see, they can see. Well, that makes sense. You would think, that, that how would they fly around blind? That helps them see at night using that sonar. Yeah. The Bermuda Triangle, have you ever heard of that? Of course. A lot of people have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is, uh, it's got Miami and Bermuda. Uh -huh. Bermuda, yeah. And uh, Puerto Rico. Okay. That's the That's the locale. Mm -hmm. And in the last 100 years, mm -hmm. we have seen, or we, we have missed 75 planes that we have attributed to the triangle. Yes as well as hundreds of yachts. Wow, and and he's still there. There's something to this. I've watched specials about the Bermuda Triangle. It's talked to people that have survived some really crazy things that they experienced there. If something crazy goes on there. I don't know what it is. What I don't understand is if there is a triangle called the Bermuda Triangle, there I is. would head in the opposite direction as fast as I go. You know, I've, you know, uh, yeah, I've not wanted to go there because of that. I don't and believe I, I would. <laughs> I mean, I would go, I guess, if the opportunity presented itself, but there's a lot of things, too many things that have happened. All these people can't be lying about that. There's something not to if, it. Not if 75 planes have disappeared in that area. Disappeared. And can't find them. And it did, there's even a theory that Amelia Earnhardt went down in the triangle. Yeah. And then over so, 100 yachts. Yeah, I mean, where did they go then? Is that, you know? No. Of course, you spread that over a time frame of 100 years, that's not many per, I don't guess it's anything you get alarmed about. 
But you see, you but said it's you, enough. It's enough to. It's enough. That'd be like uh, if you lived in an area and uh, when you were a boy, your mother and daddy told you, "Don't you go into the house. It's a haunted house." Yes. I bet you didn't have to get so told you twice. Stayed away from. You stayed it. away from. Yes. Or I would. <laughs> that's a yeah. That's an interesting thing there. Now I yeah. did talk about the blue whale once. I told you about how big the tongue was. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. blue whale is the largest mammal or animal that ever lived. Oh, the length of that, that blue whale is a basketball court. That's all. Gosh. Or how much it weighs. I don't know. <laughs> it's That's heart, a lot. Its heart is as big as a compact car. The heart. Good. That man. muscle inside that mammal is as large as a compact car. The That's food good. that the blue whale eats, though it be small, yes, it's krill, very, very small creatures. It eats four tons per day. No, that's a lot. It so, must eat all day then. Well, it very, must, very little rest, I'd very say. Very little rest. That's now, so weird about whales, they're so huge, but they just eat stuff like that. That's well, crazy. not only them. The largest fish, the longest fish, is a whale shark, 46 feet long. The whale shark can swallow a man. And of course, according mm -hmm. to the Bible, the whale can swallow a man too. Yes, well obviously, I mean, look how big they are. But, but think about it, being that big, if they didn't eat small animals like that, they would eat everything. Yeah. Yeah, they would. Sharks. They would. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're... But they do not eat sharks. Now the whale shark can swallow a human, but they feed on plankton too. They're not krill. Really? They feed. Plank plankton is just little bitty stuff. I know. And then on the land, of course, the elephant is the largest creature. It can be up to 13 feet high. Yeah. What do they eat? Elephants eat mostly straw and hay. Okay. But so now that's either. in captivity. But out in the wild, that, they're always using that t that trunk to get stuff up. Yeah, they're they're uh, yeah. vegetarian. It's just kind of amazing that all these huge, as big an animal as that animals. is, how much hay, how much hay would it have to eat a day? I would think uh, a lot. A but lot. now I would say out in the wild, they don't get hay. They have to eat greenery or whatever. Whatever they get. I just think it's amazing they're all vegetarians or they eat little bitty stuff in the ocean and they're so that, that enormous. That blows my mind because of all the sea life that they've got available to them. They can take a... And they uh, can eat any of it. They can take an octopus and put, put one here. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many legs does an octopus have? You got to get all. Is it how uh, many? Of them? Eight. eight. All eight of them. You have to be. You have to eat all eight. Mm. Some people eat octopus. Oh yeah. You can order it in a restaurant. Yeah, no thanks. Not me. No, not thank me. you. The fastest human. Do you know the fastest human? Oh. No, have, unless he said it on here. You. Yuri? Usain. Oh, you've said oh. that a million times. Usain yeah. Bolt. He's yeah. the fastest human according to the last Olympics we had. Usain okay. Bolt. Right, right. The fastest creature, body-wise, is the hummingbird. I didn't know that. You ever watched them flit? Man, they're, I'm there, well, they're humming, and then zip! Yeah, they, they have, yeah, they do disappear pretty fast. Okay. Now I think about it. Peregrine falcon can, when they're diving for their meal, 240 miles an hour. When they're making the kill. Yes. 240 miles an hour. Goodness. The fastest the impact probably kills whatever. <laughs> it's me like you kill the falcon. You definitely. Uh, the fastest two-legged animal is an ostrich. They can go 43 miles an hour. Really? An ostrich? I've never the guessed that. The fastest four-legged creature is the cheetah. Yes, I didn't know that. Cheetah can go 75 miles an hour. They are fast. I, but you know the thing about a cheetah? They can go fast, but they can't maintain very long that speed. Oh, okay. They have to falter. And that's the reason a lot oh. of their quarry, 
mm-hmm. gets away. They can outlast them. Oh, okay. Okay. They stay ahead of them long enough that they falter. I didn't know that. Most of the animals in the wild, they have to try ten times before they get their meal. I'm sure. They've missed sure. nine times to get that tenth one. Yeah. I had a friend of mine yeah. that sold Watkins products. Watkins liniment and Watkins ointment and all these things. He said that every time he knocked on ten doors, he got one sale. Really? He's kept up with it. He said, I've got to call ten times before I get one answer, before I get one sale. Being a door-to-door salesman would be tough. I would not want to be a salesman, period. No. Door to door or any other way. I wouldn't no. want to be a car salesman where people no. come in. No. But if you're a door to door salesman, you've got a product you want to sell. Mm hmm. But see, when I was a boy. But people don't really want to see you. I know that. They want you to say, you know, I'm guilty of that too. Like, I don't want whatever it is you're selling. Go away. Like, okay. We all kind of have that attitude towards it. But them. when I was a boy, you didn't have stores everywhere. You had mm-hmm. rolling stores that came by once a week, but you had salesmen that traveled around. Fuller Brush salesman was one of them. He had all kinds of products for the home. And the uh, Watkins guy, he had a route. He came around. But they probably did much better back then because well, yeah, of that. Yeah, they were helping you out because you didn't have to go. They, exactly. they brought it to you. And then you got to cosmetic people today that make a living. <laughs> uh huh. Selling door to door. Oh my God. All right. Hey, Sean, I'll have to come out in just a minute. We're filming. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you? Go ahead. How did you remember London Bridge is falling down? Yeah, falling we down. talked about that last week. It was one of my trivia questions. Don't what? please stop. Don't. Your one of your trivia questions was London Bridge. Yeah. What was the question? Uh, what was the first bridge to be built over the Thames River? Thames. Got that. Okay, it was built, uh, it lasted 600 years, and because of the traffic, because of the river, they had to repair it over and over again, and so they tore it down, and they built the second one out of granite. The second one had the same problem, had to repair it, repair it, repair it. So they tore down the granite and built one out of concrete. Guess what they did with the granite bridge across the Thames River, London Bridge. It is over a lake in Arizona. They took it apart piece by piece and re-erected the London Bridge in Arizona. That's cool. Yes. Okay. Movie star's leading actor is whom? Tom Hanks. His, what about him? his earnings nine billion two hundred eighty three million seven hundred thirty three thousand two hundred ninety two dollars. Mm-hmm. That, that is amazing. Mind. The richest director, Steven. Spielberg. That don't surprise me, Don. No, he's he, all of his are blockbusters. Mm-hmm. Every one of them. He's over nine billion dollars in in a career. Yeah. As of May of two years ago, the most awards Billboard Music was Michael Jackson. He had forty. Do you realize that some of your radio program radio stations are not playing Michael Jackson now because of all the. This uh, Neverland no, expose. Well, because a lot of them are coming out now saying that it's true. We uh, have Michael Jackson. A lot of the victims are coming forward now saying they might have lied earlier and said he didn't do something, but he oh, did. Yeah. They're saying he did now. I have no idea. He can't. He's not here to defend himself, so I don't know. You but. know, it, it's an unknown. But some radio stations choose. Yeah. They've not been forced to do it. 
Mm -hmm. it's, just, uh, it's just on their own discretion they've decided to do that. Yeah. The MTV Awards, Beyonce mm -hmm. with 24. Country Music Awards, George Strait with 23. Oh, about that either. Which country makes all, well, which country makes at least 90% of all fireworks? USA. <laughs> Well, we import them. We import them. Where from? I don't Made know. in China. China. What a shocker! Boy, you know what? Right now, the the tariff situation between us and uh, China, it's getting touchy. Mm -hmm. Getting touchy. Mm -hmm. The thing about if I put tariff on what I let you sell in my country, mm -hmm. I'm going to make you pay me 25% more, and I'm going to put that in my pocket just so you can sell over here. Well, they can say to you, well, I'm going to make you pay 35%. That's true. So there is a tit for tat going on right now between China and the United States over tariffs. I didn't know that. Tariffs is a surcharge. It's a tax. Oh, figures. You don't figures remember Joe not. Lewis. But Joe Lewis was a, a black man that became the heavyweight champion of the world. Mm -hmm. And it was in 1937. I was just two years old. I don't remember it. But he defended his title 25 times. Between 37 and 48, he defended his title 25 times. That's pretty he impressive. He was quite a boxer. He was quite a boxer. Okay. Oh, ask let's go to some jokes. Uh, let me give you ask. Okay. Ask Marilyn. Why, when human remains are found, dental records are often used for identification. Mm -hmm. But if a person's identity is unknown, how do investigators know who the dentist is? The FBI has created a national dental information database, part of the National Crime Information Center, to which law enforcement agencies may contribute the dental records of missing, wanted, or unidentified persons. Oh yeah, now that so is So you build true. a file of those that are not accounted for. Yeah. So then that narrows it down. Probably solved a lot of cases <clears throat> like that. But anyway, it's still not an uh, exact science, but it narrows it down. Yeah. It narrows it down, way down. Dental records identify missing people. Jane Doe's, John Doe's. Jane Doe's and John Doe. Yeah, Jane and John Doe. All right, hmm. all right. Here's, here's some Mother's Day. Mom's Dictionary. This is from Mom. Carpet. It's expensive floor covering used to catch spills and clean mud off shoes. <laughs> That's true. That's, That's what true. the carpet is for. Date. Infrequent outings with dad where mom can enjoy worrying about kids in a different situation. <laughs> Dumb waiter. One who asked if the kids would like to order dessert. <laughs> yeah, that's a dumb question. <laughs> that's a very dumb question. I remember the first time I saw a dumb waiter. We were in... <laughs> dumb waiter is uh, something in the house that you use to lower things down to the next floor. Mm -hmm. First time we ever saw one was in uh, Virginia. What's that big place up there? The big, big estate. Wait, where? In Virginia. What? Hmm. What city? I can't remember. Virginia but anyway, Beach, first, uh, first number. Some man uh, built a big fine estate, big fine manor, and everything, and they had a dumb waiter. Oh, okay. But, but we're thinking, you're thinking of a dumb waiter. An dinner. idiot. Oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. An idiot. Okay, <laughs> eat, eat. It's what kids do between meals, but not at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fable. So Fable. A story told by a teenager arriving home after curfew. <laughs> yeah. That's true, Fa too. Family planning. 
the art of spacing your children the proper distance apart to keep you on the edge of financial disaster. <laughs> None of our kids were planned. <laughs> so spacing the children has a lot to do with yeah. happenstance. Yeah. Feedback. The inevitable result when your baby doesn't appreciate strained carrots. <laughs> Feedback. <laughs> Full name. What you call your child when you're mad. <laughs> That's true, too. I can remember that. You know, Andy Albert. <laughs> yeah, you know when you're going to get it. Paula Marie. Vicky Lee. <laughs> Geniuses. Amazingly, all of mom's kids are geniuses. Uh, doesn't it seem to be that way? Grandparents, the people who think your children are wonderful, even though they're sure you're not raising them right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grandparents and great-grandparents are in the same boat. Yes. Handy wipes. Pants, shirt sleeves, drapes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's handy. That's true, too. Hearsay. What toddlers do when anyone mutters a dirty word. <laughs> Impregnable. Yeah, they do that. A woman whose memory of labor is still vivid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's always been amazing to me. The, I don't. I have no idea how much pain a woman goes through in childbirth. We don't have a clue. I've watched Carolyn do it three times, but I have no idea how she felt. But as many times as women over the years have had children, they have another. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe it's because they had an epidural. <laughs> Independent. How we want our children to be as long as they do everything we say. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Joy ride. Going somewhere without the kids. <laughs> kiss. Mom's medicine. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'll kiss it and make it wet. Yes, yes. Lemonade stand. Complicated business venture in which mom buys powdered mix, sugar, lemons, and paper cups, sets up a table and chairs and pitchers and ice for kids who sit there for three to six minutes and make a net profit of 15 cents. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> ah. You do all that hard work for nothing. <laughs> Mom's dictionary says maybe is no. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Penitentiary. Say what? Penitentiary. Where you go for your... The prison? Prison. Okay. Penitentiary. Where children who don't eat their vegetables or clean their rooms eventually end up, according to mom. <laughs> You'll wind up in the penitentiary. I think I've said that about some kids That's in school. That's a bad crime, I tell you. Puddle. A small body of water that draws other small bodies wearing dry shoes into it. They seem to do that. They do seem to do that. Show off a child who is more talented than yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the yeah. snow suits. Warm, padded outer garments that when completely zipped and snapped perform two important functions. Protecting children from the cold and reminding them they have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Spit. All-purpose cleaning fluid, especially on the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stir, listen to this. Sterilize, sterilize. What you do to your first baby's pacifier by boiling it and to your last baby's pacifier by blowing on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so help me God, it's true. <laughs> Sweater. Magically charmed article of clothing that can ward away colds, flu, and even pneumonia. For yeah, your mom. Course, yeah, exactly. The top bunk where you should never put a child wearing a Superman uniform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we're going to try to fly. <laughs> Too many warning when the baby's face turns red and she begins to make those familiar grunting sounds. <laughs> Too many warnings. 
Okay, when your father gets home, according to Mom's Dictionary, that's a standard measurement of time between crime and punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I've actually seen that happen. Wait till your father gets home. Oh, yeah. I, who done it? None of the kids that live in your home. <laughs> Even if they've done it right in front of you. Now, these are mom's quotes. Okay. I want my children to have all the things I could not afford. Then I want to move in with them. <laughs> Phyllis Diller. <laughs> my mother's menu consisted of two choices. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Buddy Hackett. When your mother asks, do you want a piece of advice? It is a mere formality. It doesn't matter if you answer yes or no. You're going to get it anyway. <laughs> Irma Bombeck. If evolution really works, how come mothers have only two hands? Right, right. Need more. Uh, there is only one pretty child in the world, and every mother has it. Yes. That's, that's, an old, that's a Chinese proverb. Really? A suburban mother's role is to deliver children obstetrically once sure. and by car forever. Yeah. <laughs> the best way to keep children at home is to make the home atmosphere pleasant mm -hmm. and let the air out of their tires. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way. Keep them home. That's a good way. If you were to open up a baby's head, and I'm not for a moment suggesting that you should, you would find nothing but an enormous drool pool. I think so, too. Yes. One more. One more. Not hiring. This is from Flagmaster32. My co-worker at the hotel was miserable at his job and was desperately searching for a new one. Why don't you work for your mother, I suggested. He shook his head. I can't. Her company has a very strict policy against hiring relatives. Well, who made up that ridiculous rule? My mother. <laughs> Probably for the best. Probably yeah. for the best. Yeah. All right, well, those were good. Good Mother's Day jokes. And uh, to everyone out there listening, hope you have a great Mother's Day this weekend. And uh, tune in next week for another edition of the Albert Billy Show right here on Channel 18 Valley TV. Don't forget you can watch every episode on YouTube and keep listening to us here on WUAT. So long, folks. See you, folks.